Hey all, I wanted to do something a little bit different to have a little bit of fun to surprise you with uh, today and rather than telling you in writing what we're going to be doing, I thought I would just record it. And so today we're going to be sharing our favorite layouts and then telling why they're favorite your favorite layout I um, actually learned a little bit about myself and about my layouts and about why I scrapbook when I was choosing my favorite layouts to share with you and I'm going to show them to you and explain uh, what I learned um, this layout was the first one that came to mind and uh, this is a layout of my uh, grandmother who is here this is a photo of my grandmother and in the photo she is wearing uh, this necklace here and this necklace was given to her on her confirmation by her parents and on the back side of the necklace it's engraved um, it says to Marie from mom and dad and you can see in the layout I actually scanned and extracted this necklace I put it on my scanner and extracted it and you can see it up here too um, what you see over here are my three boys when the youngest one was confirmed this photo was taken and I don't know if you can see it around each of their tie tacks but they have a necklace that we gave them when they were confirmed um, because I wanted to pass down this heritage of faith to my boys that I felt my grandmother had passed on to me and I liked the idea so much that um, uh, when each of them were confirmed we gave them a uh, cross that's engraved also and so in the journaling over here I journaled all about the crosses and why um, they're important to me so I want to show you though some other favorite ones before I go into explaining what I've learned um, some of my other favorite ones are of when the boys were very little this is one of my favorite ones they were just sitting on the floor um, all in white t-shirts and underwear getting ready to go to bed when I snapped that photo and um, I love uh, what I journaled on this one because uh, it says I just want to reach into this photo back in time and give you a kiss because when I see all these old photos of my boys I do I look at them and I just want to reach right into that photo and uh, kiss them and uh, it's almost like I can uh, feel them uh, at that age even now and uh, sometimes I wish I could have that moment back and so um, henceforth why this is another one of my favorites with the boys in the um, car seats in I'm trying to get the glare off with the boys in the car seats and um, they uh, you know I snapped this photo I turned around and snapped this photo while I was driving and I remember the moment because I was afraid I was gonna run off the road uh, snapping the photo but they were just too precious and I could just reach right into that photo and give them a kiss too um, and then there's this one where the boys uh, God I don't know if you can see it maybe it seems like there's such a glare ha. Um, anyway you can see this photo where they have every single thing out of the cabinet and uh, this one down here they cereals on the floor I remember I did found them like this I don't know how many times they go get the cereal boxes dump the whole box on the floor and my dog would help it herself himself 
that's Duffy Joe. And here is um, some popsicle craft sticks, which he dumped all over the floor. And of course, I ran to get my camera. And so it's these little special moments. I find that I'm navigating to my favorite layouts are the ones that have something a very special memory to me something that I hold dear to my heart and that's those are the layouts I seem to be navigating to when I'm thinking which ones are my favorite um, I like this one with the pig story that was handed down um, from generation to generation this is my great uh, great-grandmother I believe yeah and I was so surprised um, when I actually found a photo of the pig with the pig story that's been handed down um, from generation to generation this one you'll see on my website um, it ha explains what my name my uh, screen name hummy is all about and if you can see it there that's a little better that's my uh, grandma there with the wash tub, hence uh, the tub on the end of Humdinger. Um, but you can read more about that on the website. And that's one of my favorite layouts. This one is uh, also one of my favorite layouts because it's my dad when he was a little boy hugging a dog. And let me see I got uh, I thought I had a couple more this one here I am recording dear my dear just came in the house don't need him to interrupt me <laughs> he's waving you wanna come over and wave come here yeah fix your hair come in right behind me right over the shoulder ooh there's my man see I can see all his muscles <laughs> Uh, sell him hi. Hi. Wave. <laughs> I can't do any of this unless you animate me. <laughs> you ready? Put your hand up. You ready? Doing. <laughs> wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta hit it again. Doing. <laughs> okay. British wave. okay. There are people from Brit, from the. Uh, the, from the UK. I'm going to be watching this. That's bloody well right. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't offend him. All right. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, my grandmother and this is uh, about the song she sang to me on her uh, deathbed and um, it, the lyrics that are there and that's a picture of a rose from my garden and it's a very simple layout but it means a lot to me because of what's on it and so my favorite layouts what I've learned by going through trying to choose what my favorite layouts are is that um, they are the ones that have a special meaning to me. It's not about how fancy they're scrapped. Uh, it's not about some technique, even though Hummy's World is all about learning new techniques that are fun to do in layouts. Um, it's about the memory that I am preserving. And when I look at them, it brings back that memory again. And so that tells me where my focus should be with my uh, digital scrapbooking layouts. My focus should be on preserving memories, not on fancy pages, not on things that, not that it's so well scrapped. Um, and of course, this could be different for each person. So as you pick out your favorite layouts, um, decide, uh, consider it. Why are you picking these out? and then learn from it so that you can uh, maybe get out of a rut that you're in. If you're trying to make your layouts perfect or whatnot, um, maybe uh, your favorite layouts are those perfect ones and then that might be your goal. Maybe your layouts are the most artistic ones and so maybe that might be your goal to focus on. But it really helps you to uh, focus on the purposes uh, of your scrapbooking so that if you've taken a tangent off somewhere else <coughs> that away <laughs> if you've taken a tangent 
um, somewhere else, then um, <coughs> you can uh, refocus and uh, get back to what uh, you really uh, want to be doing. So I'm going to uh, send you all a few hearts and uh, let you know I love everybody who's here and who's active at uh, Hummies World. You really uh, mean a lot to me and um, I hope you stick around for a long while. So your assignment is to share, actually share some of your favorite layouts and explain why they're your favorite layout and what you learned from this exercise. Bye, y'all.